I don't know if it's uh, picking up on the camera itself, but this is a uh, mosquito in the rain time. So, uh-oh, got a little bit on the camera. Nothing major. Oh, it's getting too big. Come in, come in. <laughs> Sorry. You should saw mom and dad. So. Oh, are they soaking? Yeah, they're soaking. And this is how it looks like raining in the front. The main reason I wanted to do this was to show the birdies. Oh, I well, you know, I just found a nest. So, and I think that's either that's probably the daddy. Not a bad place to be when you're a bird in the middle of the rain. As you can see, this is my first time trying this camera out, so I have no idea how to keep things still. Right, I'm going to get a little closer. Let me see. Oh, okay. I can actually go up there. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We're still raining. Great usage of the camera, dum dum. This is for Mark and Cammy. I'm just letting you know this is just a very brief video showing how uh, virtually empty the, the small town of Mosquito is. I am standing in the middle of the intersection, one of the intersections, and yeah, this is uh, basically it. Uh, that's the water tower, I've already taken pictures of that. So yeah, I'll show you what downtown Main Street looks like. So going on next. This is the road that leads to Main Street. And this is Main Street. Uh, surprisingly enough, before I started filming, there was quite a bit of traffic, uh, about two cars. So, yeah, this is how small this town is. It's actually on a plateau slash mesa, uh, somewhere towards the edge, well, virtually towards the edge of uh, New Mexico, and we can actually see the storm clouds in uh, Texas and Oklahoma, more so Oklahoma, those poor people. So that's basically it, all right? There. Uh, just, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible for you, Mark and Cammy, but this is the another the opposite end of the road that leads into Mosquito. I'm still on Main Street. Uh, you kind of yeah, there's people here. Don't worry, but like this is definitely one of those cities where you can probably sit in the middle of the road and nothing will bother you for at least ten minutes. Oh, and uh, as you can see, uh, the local the local youths around here have been doing a lot of these really beautiful illustrations on the side of buildings. Some. Uh, not so completed as you just saw but uh, right here where the old malt shop used to be are uh, portraits of some of my extended family uh, forgive me mother I their names for uh, escape me at the moment because I really suck at narration especially on the fly uh, as nice as this as this little building was and it was a malt shop back in the past in fact we can safely say my grandma um, <laughs> Josie, um, again, I suck at narration. My grandma was a soda jerk. <laughs> That's always a fun word to say. And here's what I think is probably the most beautiful picture uh, of all. And it looks like I'm about to run out of memory, so I took plenty of pictures of that. So that's pretty much it. Bye. Okay, action. Okay, cut. Action. Cut. And here is the road leading to Main Street. And we will pan over and see Main Street itself.
it doesn't look like much, but cars definitely do come past here a lot. So, again, we're overlooking the border of not one, but three different states. So, I'll get in a closer look. Action. Okay, cut. Yeah, I, I just gotta get some footage of Grandpa walking in. There he is, the most wonderful man in the world. Say hello, Grandpa. Absolutely nothing, right? Okay. <laughs> This interview is over. <laughs> and on McNeil Avenue, we have the school. And next to school is the media center. Which I shall take a closer look at. Okay, cut. One, two, three. 